Yo, Sakafed, I'm Sammy Beats. Today, we are going to create a bouncy, clean Afrobeat instrument to run FL Studio 21. Also, I'm going to show you one of the easiest way to create Afrobeat guitar melody. And I think we can create a whistle pattern that is going to give us this Omale Victoni type vibe. So, let's have some fun. For this instrument, we are going to start directly with the drums. I have my tempo set at 105. And let's use this. Percussion. We can duplicate this one, make the copy till we arrive at five at four bars. So we have it like that and let's try to bring a kick. Uh, for the kick I need something that have a lot of bass. Let's go with some kind of armor piano kick. Use this one, fill each four step. This is a little bit too long. I use this one just to create a pattern that we use in a HD and compare. Work pretty well with Afrobeat and sometimes it's work well too with Amaviano. And I think I'm gonna go back to Afrobeat Essential Bundle Volume 2 and then get some conga. How's this one and this one? Nice. I think it is nice. We have a drum pattern that we can work with and the last thing that we can add is gonna be a shaker let me use this shaker let me use this one instead and now we can start adding melodic instrument the first instrument gonna be a guitar let me use contact 7 i save all the bank that i use the most for example if you right click right there you will see that i have the tc guitar and also i have the lp guitar because i use them a lot this is the reason why you can see that i have them saved we're gonna try to find something that can give us a rhythm so i have something in my already But first, I think we can definitely mix the guitar, uh, vintage chorus, and we will move the noise. With the, with the chorus and without the chorus. And the next thing gonna be to add some reverb. This is too long and we have too much. Add maybe... Um, the SSQ okay I think we need to record this one and then we can make more on the mixing okay we have it let's take a look at it RQ let me share that we quantize For this one, we can maybe transpose this one right here. Nice, it sounds better now. Maybe we can do. This one right here. Okay, now we can definitely make it sound even more interesting. Let's say that we add right here this note, and then right here we have this the same note again. Let's add it on cell. We are on a bemol. 
and then we get down to ah sorry guys Now we can add more reverb and take this one down and let's have a delay verb delay 3 floaty delay 3 and Now we have our drum pattern in the guitar melody. I think we can definitely use this here X keyboard just to add maybe this sick organ. Okay. We are a little bit too. Now we can add our guitar to the mixer and then we can just add some reverb. We can use the fluty reverb too. And I'm going to duplicate it and use this, uh, so use this 70s ballad. Sound nice. Normally how you do it, you just add it to the first note of your chord. Let me go down. And now we're gonna add a key to make everything glue together. I'm gonna use Kotak 7 again and use this uh, duet. There's a lot of good instrument in duet. There's one in particular that I love using, which is the James World. Go to key, use James World. This one always sound good. I'm gonna copy this one right here, comment C, comment V. And then we move low note, comment X. And comment A, we can take them just right there. And this one, we take them one of that lower like they should be. And now, comment L, we have our pad key pattern. Let's keep it like that and see. The next thing now gonna be to add the bass. The bass gonna follow the low note on our main guitar. We're gonna use a bass guitar to do that. And I might use Trillion. And there's a preset that I love using, which is the R&B muted. Let's just go and copy the same note right there. And we pass it. Sorry, comment V. For this guitar, we need to do something like that. That means this is too low. This is too short. Just to make it fair, we can just cut this guitar right here. We pass it through here, and then. We comment B right here and then we put this right there. Our second guitar note gonna be right here. Our second guitar note gonna be right there. And the first one gonna be right there. And if we get back. We 
can do the same for the base of the guitar we can just uh, go right there and then we delete them we delete them right here comment x and then we go and create a new pattern for them comment c and pattern 3 Come. we pass them to that guitar right here and then we have them right there And now we're gonna try to make it sound like a big record. Add our last instrument to complete the instrumental. I think I'm gonna use a whistle. Um, this one. Let's go. This whistle sound nice on Afrobeat, on this kind of Afrobeat. I can think about Victor Nittai vibe, O'Malley. They sound so nice. We're going to try to create a whistle melody it's gonna be like thinking of someone that is uses voice to create this whistle We keep this one and then we keep this one right here. And now if you want we can add drum feel uh let me go to this one just to create this vibe right here let me go to cell and then we can <laughs> this is nice and now we can add this clap right here and then we have it like that Now, if I add this uh, L1 L2 maximizer on this stereo boss, and then we will find. And I think we can do something on the guitar, maybe make the delay a little bit shorter. Let's solo the guitar so we can see if it sounds better. Okay. When we have this slap delay, give you the live feel that is uh, the guitar is real. That's it for the instrumental. I'm not gonna do too much on it. From now, I'm gonna drop every single instrumental that I create from this channel on the instrumental channel that I have. I'm gonna link it in the description box. For this December, I'm doing a little challenge, like drop three beat weekly, guys. If there is some of you that wanna go and then participate in my challenge, just DM me. Please go subscribe, cause I'm gonna drop every single instrumental that I create here on the instrumental channel, which is Sammy Beat 2. So I'm gonna upload the instrumental that you love the most on Spotify, this is on the streaming platform. Yeah, that's it. See you in the next one.